we are here. We just arrived at the Bonobo Sanctuary. Dude, there's Kanzi. No way. Someone is supposed to come to this gate and pick me up. Right here. I still I cannot believe this is happening right now. Okay, here comes Jared. Jared! Okay. Like <laughs> or whatever. Hey, hey! Awesome! Welcome! Here we go. I was so excited to meet you because you were like the first person I ever talked to about this idea with, along with Sarah, you know? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. I'm waiting right here because he has to grab me a mask because we actually have to be um, very safe with the bonobos here because um, they're really susceptible to getting any sort of respiratory illness. Um, okay, so I'll just kind of give you a lay of the land. There aren't any apes in here right now, but I'll just kind of show you some of the spaces that... Um, so we could start over here. So the greenhouse is basically divided into a west and an east, but it's just subdivided for the ape space just so we can give them different choice. Um, and I can show you the other side as well. You could theoretically, probably you wouldn't, but you could theoretically have two of them working on something at the same yes, time. Yes, and we have talked about it because you actually can see one another. The apes can oh. see one another. I'll just open this door for you. And what you can see is that you actually can, one ape could theoretically be working in both places. That's awesome. Yeah. So we could theoretically put them on a server where they're playing together. Yes, it's definitely possible. No one's done it yet. It's been, a couple of researchers have approached me about the possibility for that, but it certainly is something that we could look into. That would be <laughs> insane. <laughs> like the, the studies that we do with the apes, whether they're on a touchscreen computer or whether they're live, you know, testing, because we give them a lot of like puzzles and things like that stuff, it's really enriching for them. I mean, one of the things about bonobos and chimpanzees is that you know, the reason that they're so intelligent is because they basically have to be, like, that's how they survive in the wild. We know, for example, chimpanzees will, like, go after termites. And they'll, like, you know, poke a stick into the ground and take that out and then use a thinner stick to fish out insects and then yeah. they'll eat the insects. That takes a lot of brain power. When they're in captivity, we do everything we can to try to enrich their lives, to keep their brains and their mind and, and their bodies stimulated. Like, right. this is something that we do that actually yeah. legitimately enriches their lives. Being like right. Minecraft, it's totally like... fun and it's totally cool and it, it's like lighthearted but it's also very serious. You know, navigating a 3D world like Minecraft, right? And people see that and they're like, whoa, like that's crazy. And I think what it does is it gives them this understanding and appreciation for like, this is a species worth, con worth, worth conserving. I mean, there's like probably anywhere, there could be as few as 20,000 bonobos left on the planet. And so they only are found in Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah. And so we have seven here. There's only about 80 in the United States. I mean, they're a very, very rare species to see. So the common ancestor of all three of our species, chimpanzees, bonobos, and humans, diverged about five, six million years ago. Bonobos and chimpanzees about a million and a half years ago. Wow. So either, I mean, we're cl more closely related to bonobos than bonobos are to gorillas. We're actually more closely related to bonobos and chimpanzees than either species is related to gorillas. I just said we are ready when you are. Oh my god, they're gonna bring in three. <laughs> I, don't, I, was, I was like freaking out, no way. So that's Tico. So I recognize Tico. And that's Inyota. And then that's Kans. Oh my we'll god. We'll probably do a little bit of banging on the glass when we get close to them. And we can go to the other side too if you want us, because they're gonna have access to both sides, so they'll tell me what. And so these devices, again, it's, it's, it's all about keeping them engaged both mentally and physically. Yeah, it looks like there's some frozen yogurt. I think it really, that's like a pretty highly preferred treat, so. This is, this is Kanzi. The main man. Wow. Yes. Is, is so he gonna Kanzi. be weirded out by the camera at all? No. no? Oh no, he's like, he's, he'll pose for you. I think he's saying oh. water. Water? I can see, it's a little hard from this angle. But yeah, I think, so Kanzi has this, he loves, to, yeah, he's saying water. He loves to um, get sprayed with the hose. Chase. With water. I was back chasing with water again. Yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> 
saying water on the keyboard. And this is one of the things I think is really cool in terms of their communication. So like Kanzi and Yoda and a little bit of Tico, they know the lexigrams, but they also like do a lot of things that we do with gestures. Like you see Kanzi pointed over there. Uh, yeah, I totally, me, I mean, clap yeah. his hands. So the clapping is usually like a, like an urgency chase kind of thing. Um, but he, Excited, he yeah. integrates that with using the keyboard and his gestures and even his vocalizations. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is, <laughs> that is incredible. I don't even think you get that at the zoo. It's funny, we do a lot of Zoom calls with people just to like enrich the bonobos just for fun. Really? And so um, one of the favorite things to do is to look inside people's refrigerators. So, <laughs> so they love to look inside everyone's refrigerator. Okay, so we're about to bring Kanzi into the gaming setup. We have Kanzi, Kanzi's already right here. He's, he's getting ready for his, uh, for his gaming. He's in the dark, but he's right there. We're about to connect the computers that are going to run Minecraft for Kanzi on one of these screens. Let's see. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to see Kanzi do Minecraft. I'm sad he's gonna get a turn before me though. <laughs> Here he comes. And Yoda. Do some Minecraft? What kind of food do you think we should get? What do you need? We're ready to go for Kanzi. Face. A chase. Well, all play, no work, huh? Kanzi is telling her that he wants to get water, be chased with a hose by the water before we play Minecraft. <laughs> His mind's about to be blown. <laughs> okay, we're in the control center. Cons, you ready, bud? Come on, bring a nest. Yeah. So we have the world open. Here it is. Okay. Theoretically, he should be able to just tap and just start playing. Cool. And then I'm going to reinforce him with whatever pops on the screen. Yep. Cool. You ready, bud? All right. Oh, okay. Oh my God, he's already moving towards it. Mm -hmm. No yeah. way! The peanuts! You want oh the peanuts? Oh my God! Oh, I spilled all the peanuts. Oh. Wow. Good job, bud. That was first try. Oh no! Oh my God! He just knows. So hopefully, the goal would be he understands that the different colors actually give him different yeah. rewards yeah. after just a bit of repetition. See, look, he can go up and down stuff. Yeah, that's he cool. He can auto jump. You like it? He's like, I don't want those. Oh my god. There's three different colors. Go on there. There's yellow, which he gets an apple. There's green, he gets a peanut. And there's blue. Oh my god, he's about to get the blue. Yay, Yay that's, that's a great, great right? That's a great. <laughs> We can already officially say, right, that this is uh, this is definitely playing Minecraft. This is playing Minecraft, and this is the first ever. Yeah, first ever, for sure. So he's already basically mastered walking and moving around and exploring in Minecraft with the touchscreen controls that we developed. We just, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think we were yeah. gonna get this yeah. fluent with it already. Conzie's crushing it, Amanda. I know, we're just watching. I'm gonna go. Have a little break play session. Um, but actually, I think he was having a really fun time playing that. Um, and usually, you can tell by how much he's engaged with it and how much, you know. Well, he just, he seems almost smiley about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, he has really excited expressions. I mean, there's a lot of folks that like playing Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just add Kanzi to the list now. Right? This is like, we've realized that Minecraft can go down to a, a primal level. All right.
Okay, we have the next mode set. We are going to see, this one is gonna be way harder because before all you have to do is walk around. Now, what we are doing is we are incorporating a button. We have two buttons placed on the top of the game, one for breaking and one for placing. The next level up, basically, for Kanzi is going to be breaking blocks using buttons. This All right, Kanzi, give it a try. So this is different. Yeah. Oh, wait, look, it's a lot. Yeah. Usually the things on the screen are stuck. And so it, yeah. you know, either they, he, he touches them, they disappear. So I think it's definitely a new concept. But I think we could get them there. Maybe point at this one. Yeah. Kanzi, break. Break. Yay, peanut! I think if we just do that a few times. Chris is yeah. helping you. So we're controlling it. So we move to these different areas. Can you break it, Kanzi? Yes! All right, very good. good. So now we're, we're showing, I'm playing for Kanzi, but he's seeing it on the screen. So hopefully he will continue. Yeah. If I do this enough, he might just understand. Yeah! Oh, close, Here. close! Use. Break, Tonzi, break! Yeah, Yay, right again. Good job! Okay, you did a good job, I think I'm gonna call it, because I think that would be Good job, buddy! All right! Very nice, very nice, sir. I think it's, well, I think that that was a awesome first go. What do you think? That was great. I feel like, subjectively, that the idea that he was moving around and then, oh, I can use this to do something else, like cognitively, to me, that's like the big advance. We, God, we just played it for him like five times and then we let him do it mm -hmm. and he just understood yeah, it. That's amazing. So this is the first trip. Now I'm gonna go back based on everything that we've learned and we're gonna improve everything even further, make more maps, more challenges for Kanzi, and then come back. Awesome. Take care. Take care. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. No I'm excited for the next Yeah, trip. yeah, yeah, it'll be awesome. Thank and, uh, you. Thank you so much. Very much. <laughs> so great <laughs> for having you. For having me. Alrighty. Safe travels. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. much. Bye. Bye. All right. Are we rolling? Are yes. we live? We're live. The Uber should be here in point six. I don't know. They should be here in one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a massive moment for us. We're going to test Kanzi's abilities. I wish the Uber would have come right then. I'm scared. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. Thanks. Hello. This is crazy. And like cleaning equipment. There's a whole like center. It's That's like, what I'm saying. I it's it was like, like it's this, this is huge a stand. crazy establishment. It is such a beautiful location. Like this is the only uh, bonobo like research facility in the entire world. I think is what they say on their website. This is by far like the nicest place like out of everywhere that we looked at. So good to be here. There's so many buildings too, like it's so developed and nice. And they're working on developing it further. So yeah, donate. Right there, right to the side. <laughs> that way. That way. Oh yeah, wait. Yeah. Yeah, that yes. way. What's up? Aaron? How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, Patrick? Uh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's there he is. Yodos, yes. Minecraft? <laughs> wow. Yodos, like, I love. Okay, should we get it all set up then? Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, give them one minute just to see where these two shake out. Okay. I think we're preferring. All right, let's see. He might be on the side. Dude, the gamers. This is so exciting. I'm hoping to get one. Stick a GoPro like right where that black thing is so we get a funny face shot of him. We're trying to make this, we're trying to recreate this one hilarious shot. It's a Photoshop <laughs> shot, it's not even real. But there's this Whoa. funny meme of this um, ape. He's like playing Minecraft, but he's not actually. It's just, it looks like it's on like a desktop camera. Okay. And it looks like he's using the computer. So we're trying to get one where it's like Blue eye screen. level. Yeah, 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 like yeah right for there. sure. We're ready to place cameras. Okay, sweet. You might need to give Yoda like one hello. We're going to set up the GoPros for Kanzi. Uh, it's very exciting. Jared has everything ready. All of the epic GoPro mounts. How's the reflection looking? There's no reflection. Awesome. 
And you're thinking right over here? Yeah, for the the smallest mount. For the smallest mount. This is a Hero 9 GoPro. This is a pretty new GoPro. It should work. Uh, I'm gonna give you another one in case the other battery doesn't work too. Like, this is absurd. Like I said, I got those lenses yeah, and I can dial them it. in to be like perfect for the screen. <laughs> well, like, Hello, other camera. Hello. Alright, hopefully this works. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I know, when I saw this, and I was like, oh my god, like, right. this is actually happening <laughs> last time. Like we, this is, yeah, this is the shot where we want to be able to see his profile and, like, his facial expression and the game at the same time. That's, that's pretty awesome. Tap this side button again, the screen just turned off. It's on time lapse now, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to have Kanzi come in for the first time with all of our new maps. This is so exciting. I can see him getting ready. Jared's right on the other side of the glass, setting up the GoPros, and we are setting up the world. I think everything is good, and you can turn them on if we can get him in here now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Kanzi is about to come in. Uh, Patrick has never seen uh, Kanzi play before, and I mean, yeah, basically, there he is. I can see him in the reflection. He's oh, really? So you just got me. I'm so excited. Hopefully, he uh, wants to play. That's the most important thing, guys. Is like, he does not have to play. They love playing, but it's it's also very possible that they just don't play. Amanda, we are all ready when uh, you are all ready. Weird. Here he comes. What's up, Kongs? So this is just the warm up for him. We're warming him up with the collection map and then we're gonna take him caving. But this is what he did last time, except now you can see there's more obstacles. Yeah. So we put more trees in the way. The terrain varies much more than before. Mm -hmm. Good he's job. Not really pushed, but he's, yeah. Kanzi, you are, this is the best game you've ever played. <laughs> Yay, oh all right, Kanz. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Like, yeah. Yes, okay, he's going in the cave. <laughs> yes, nice. this is his first cave ever. This is his first cave, cave? he's going around. Come on. As long as he doesn't turn around, then it's yes. okay. Okay, now it's going to be more obvious. Now it's more obvious because the caves are dark and those things glow, so. Perfect. There he's going, go, go, go. Now oh, he gets it. Okay, now he might start. Oh, so he has two paths he can choose. Which is yeah, cool. good job. Can you break? Break. He's getting it. Uh, He's beginning to get it. In the cave. The first ape to ever cave in Minecraft. <laughs> That's right. Kanzi, the Zenobo. There he is, Kanzi. All right. So Kanzi's taking a quick break right here. He's gaming. There he is. How did you do? Did you like the craft? Did you like caving? Oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> day two. Day two. Today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm so nervous. Today's the day that we trick Tommy in it into thinking he's playing with a human, when in reality he's playing with a literal ape. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the day. We have everything set up for Kanzi. We have all three of his insane GoPro angles, and I am about to do it. I'm so nervous. We're about to sit down and call one of the biggest uh, Minecraft YouTubers, Tommy. He's online right now, I'm terrified. And uh, yeah, he's gonna think he's playing with me when in reality, he's playing with an ape. What? Call him? Is it screen recording? Yeah. Uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Kanzi is gaming, calling this Dude. Hello. 
Yes, please, I'm recording uh, everything. I'm so excited for you to see this. Hey, there's like a million variables and a million things that can go wrong. Oh yes, I know. I think uh, I think you're gonna love this. Now just enjoy it. This is uh, this is <laughs> here. Ask you know, ask me some questions. What do you? Uh... I am I am great. A little things are a little hectic. Can you see him, Tommy? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's very handsome. He's, he's not balding quite yet, so. That was great. Dude, I'm so happy you liked it. That went, like, perfectly. I knew you were going to be confused, but. Well, all right, I'm going to head off, but please, thank you. <laughs> Subscribe, everyone watching. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <Thank> you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Speak to you later. All right. Bye, Tommy. That went really well. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> yes, he actually didn't know though. Like he didn't know. He was okay. a bit concerned with my play style. Yeah, he probably was but, like, why uh, am I here? He, he didn't know. He did so good. Oh my God, we fooled a human. He was good enough. I mean, basically, he was a little confused, but he was a good. He was a good enough crafter. He did so good, Conzi. Oh my God, dude, he's a gamer, dude. He's a gamer. Yes. You want to stay for the camera? What we're gonna do? I guess. Yeah. Show. Um. Sure. Uh. You <laughs> probably want to go there, Patrick. Yeah. So. Um. I think we're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna. Um. Take a look around to look at some of the outdoor spaces that we hope to expand for the Bonobos. Was it nice weather it last was, time it you was, were? Yeah. It was like some. It was like a fake summer. Oh really? Yeah. Just try to avoid it. Just be careful We're going guys. up to see all the bonobo land. I'm not sure if you feel like Don't bang into any metal. Just watch your step with the, the trees. Who's that guy? You have a stick. Are you gonna spear us? Oh, you have brows. That's Clara, that's Maisha. We used to have a yard that include a lot of this outdoor space. And what we're hoping to do is build additional enclosures within this space, which would give them the opportunity for more climbing, more foraging, which they have the opportunity for now, but it's not quite as extensive as we'd like to make it. And so we're looking to kind of expand all of these areas, like um, around this whole Yeah, like area. around the whole area, and then maybe subdivide it, maybe not. And um, the bonobos would interact with wildlife. Yeah. when they came out here. Um, and that also in itself is enriching, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's part of it. Their lives are, we try to make them as interesting, as exciting as possible. That's kind of our goal. Just have them have the best day they can have with the most things to do. We have different thoughts about what we could do. And like I said, we try to keep the spaces that they have access to as varied as possible. I mean, it's just crazy how much like land you have, how much there's like right. so much potential. Yeah, absolutely. You know? you know, one option would be to just put a giant perimeter around it that the apes couldn't cross. A wall that allowed an open top would probably be- That would um, be the coolest. It would I be think. the coolest. I mean, it really would, and it would give them ultimate freedom to explore any of these spaces. What we would actually do is probably start over here at the wall and connect it all the way around to the end of that one over there. Everything though in between would be open to them and all accessible. The wall over there, yeah. you just connect it like a big- Like a big arc. Yeah. In an ideal world, that's probably what we'd go for, but we're trying to get creative. Um, but I just think it might be to the point where it's, you know, maybe too cost prohibitive. Then again, if we were able to get, you know, enough donations to support something like that. Well, it's kind of cool too, how it kind of ties in a little bit with the Minecraft bit. Like, you know, it's like exploring sp spaces, it's going different places, you know what I mean? It's kind of yeah. cool to think like, that could be something that would sort of help that you know. Yeah, let Kanzi explore more of his More of his own, own bias, yeah, yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. To go into the village. Right now he's following the trail to go into the village. Kanzi, you, you are gonna potentially raid a village. I mean, because he's gonna break into a house. He's already getting it. This is his, I think, fourth time in the desert. Kanzi, can you go to the temple? He's doing temple? so good, he's doing so good. You're right doing now. so good. Right. Kanzi, you're, you're basically 
like the average Minecraft player yeah, now. Probably better than my dad. Like, but <laughs> <laughs> now this is where you have to be careful, okay? Okay, don't fall in the trap. Oh, oh no! Yes. Good job, buddy. Good God job. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> All right, Ponzi, this is the test. You can yeah. can you light a Nether portal? Let's do it. This is it. If you can light the Nether portal I without our help, you do it. it. Now, now we have to go, go inside. Go. Go. go, go inside. Go. Yes, yes Ponzi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going into the Nether. Very good. Very good. Ponzi just lit a Nether portal on his own and went in. Yeah, You're doing a good job, job. man. Oh, he did yes. Good job. The hardest thing on this one, I think it's gonna be the corner coming up. Ponzi, you're literally in the Nether. You're traveling through hell. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come oh on. my gosh, Ponzi, you're gonna complete this whole thing on your own. No, he he might. So he close. might be so close. <laughs> you did a good job. You did a good job, buddy. Come again. He's in. He's got a stick. Here we go. Oh. Hi, buddy. This is the final oh. map. This is a culmination of all of Kanzi's yes, skills. Yes, buddy. Good job. All right. Dude, he's already going. He's already going. He's, he's like, no oh, deal. Deal. There we go. All right. Now, if you turn him in the right direction while I'm doing this, <laughs> and then... Good. Yes. Yes, Kanzi. Oh, all right. Doors. Yes. I love that he's good in like enclosed spaces. Like it doesn't. Yeah, yeah he doesn't get twisted around or yeah. Not this way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. He's trying to get there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, there that's, we go. That's Pines. a big accomplishment. That's it. Now he's in a library. He's in the strongholds library. Although he's holding this. <laughs> this is it. Kanzi, you're getting close. You're getting to the end. Okay, Kanzi. Kanzi, this is it. He's about to do it. He's about he's to. He's about go. to finish yes. the map. Everything has been leading up to this moment. Kanzi, can you do this? This is it, Jared. Wait. Oh! Oh! Kanzi! Oh my oh, god! The end portal! Kanzi! <laughs> Let's see if he goes in. Oh my gosh! Yes! Kanzi! Yes! yes! Oh my oh, god, you did so good! <laughs> yes, buddy! Good oh job! My gosh. The oh. Ender Dragon! Yeah, more. Donate for good part job. two! You did a good job. You did a good job, buddy. You did. <laughs> yes. Kanzi's egg celebration. Woo! All right, Kanzi, you want an egg? Can you tell me on the keyboard? Did you have fun playing Minecraft? Good job, buddy. Such a good job. Okay, so yeah, that was the one thing, big thing we wanted to ask was like, if we reach the donation goal, can we do a part two? Yeah, absolutely. I think that Kanzi had a great time doing it, and I think if we can make that donation goal, we absolutely can do a part two. And this was only after four days of playing. I was really impressed with how quickly he was able to adapt the, the either the breaking or the using. I mean, he's on to that now, you know? Yeah. I'm wondering even at some point if we might be able to just leave them up, mm -hmm. and when he decides what he wants to do, well, I know this breaks, exactly. I know this uses, which is that, I don't know. Adding like as much choice as possible. Right, exactly. To it exactly. Very until ultimately he's playing like this simplified version of the game. Right. Like yeah, that. I mean, or building things, which is something that would never be done. So I really yeah. just think that, again, this is like the tip of the iceberg, just scratching the surface on what the potential could be. Yeah. I think. Is this like his favorite game so far? That I mean, you've definitely. Like top, I mean, he like likes to or... do stuff, but yeah. as far as on a computer, this is probably his favorite. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you, Jared. No, thank you. I hope this... it turns out great and. This Kanzi is, had fun. This is so exciting. Well, thanks. Great. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Good luck. And, All right. Uh, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. All right. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Safe travel back. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. All Chris, right. Thank awesome. you. Take care. All Ooh. right. Keep us posted, okay? We will, for sure. Video number two. Video number two, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. I think so. I, I think, think so. Thank you. Okay. Thoughts on the video? Oh, that's gonna be a banger. Be a Ladies banger. and gentlemen, we just made history. Like, actually. Like, we literally made history, like, whether it goes viral or not. It's gonna blow up. If it doesn't blow up, everyone can make fun of me. All 50 of you that are watching the vlog on my second channel can make fun of me for this.